Hello and welcome. My name is Jeff from Finally Learn. Here we're going to talk about standard cost and flexible budgets. Now this is a managerial accounting topic. And so let's talk about uh, what we know about standard costs. I'm going to give you a few notes and we'll work some problems. Now standard is the idea of what should happen. So we've got standard cost and quantity and price. Actual is what did happen. So the idea of standard costing is, is a flexible budgeting concept. That means you can produce different levels and we stretch our budget to meet what the actual is and to make sure we're comparing apples to apples. So now standard cost is the combination of standard quantity times standard price. So price and cost are not the same concept. This is a total cost. So if we think that it takes two pounds to make our product and each pound costs ten dollars, so two times ten, the standard cost for materials would be twenty dollars. Actual cost works the same way, so you have actual cost equals actual quantity times actual price. Now remember we have the three product costs, materials, labor, and overhead or manufacturing overhead. We call those direct materials, direct labor and MOH. You can call it factory overhead or just simply overhead. I'm going to use the term manufacturing overhead, so MOH. Now, one of the things that happens when we compare the standard and actual, we're going to compare and get variances. So if, if we have a favorable variance, then it means we spent less money or we had less hours or quantity than what we thought. So let's say we thought we'd spend $10,000, we spent $9,500. Well, that's a $500 difference, and that variable is classified, I'm sorry, that uh, variance is classified as favorable. And so the variance would be unfavorable, or you, if you spent more money or more hours or more quantity of, of uh, materials than what you expected. Now, the first one we're going to do is we're going to do the chart here. So this following chart is for direct materials, for direct labor, and for variable MOH. And we're going to show, we're going to set this up. We have actual quantity times actual price, and we'll get a total down here. Actual quantity times standard price, and we'll get a total. Standard quantity times standard price, we'll get a total. And then the difference in these two totals, this total and this total, will be a price variance. And the difference between these two totals will be a quantity variance. Now, when we're talking about labor, we call this a rate variance and an efficiency variance, but it's still price and quantity. And then the total variance is just going to be the total between this number and this number or these two variances added up. So let's do a couple of uh, problems here, one with materials, one with labor, before we get to variable and fixed overhead. All right, so let's say we have the very first problem here. Our very first problem is, let's say the standard. The standard is what should happen. Now, if it's materials, then we're going to have things like feet or ounces or pounds or tons or gallons. It could be metric, right? So liters, milliliters, things like that. Kilograms. So to make one unit. It takes materials, it takes four feet, maybe it's lumber or something like that. Whatever a measurement is, we're measuring in feet. So it takes four feet times $2 per foot. So if we, if we think through this, then the standard for one, the standard for one would be four feet times $2 per foot equals eight dollars. So what is our standard materials? What's our standard quantity? Well, it's four feet. What's our standard price? Well, it's two dollars per foot. And what's our standard cost? Eight dollars per unit that we create. So let's say our actual production was 1,000 units. So we gotta stretch this. This is what makes it flexible we're stretching this one standard to a thousand units. So now we can figure out, well, what does it cost for a thousand units? And here we have the actual production 
used 3,900 feet and it cost $8,580. Now, how do we do? Well, let's run the numbers and figure out the price variance and the quantity variance to get our total variance. So our actual quantity, what's our actual quantity? Well, it's going to be ter in terms of feet. So our actual quantity of feet is 3,900. I'm just going to enter that number. Now, what else do we know? Do we know the price per, uh, for each foot? We do not. We know the total cost. So the cost goes down here, 8580 Now, we can back in to find what the price will be. So we can say 8580 minus, I'm mean, sorry, divided by the 3900 So it's $2.20. Our Actual quantity was 3900 Our actual price is $2.20. And our total cost, our actual cost is 8580 Now we're going to do our actual quantity here. So this is 3900 Our standard price. What's our standard price for materials per foot, right? Well, it's going to be $2. So this is $2. If we take the 3900 times the two dollars we're going to have 7800 now the standard is going to be the standard quantity and the standard price what would it take well it takes four feet for one so we're going to take four feet times 1000 that we produced we think it should take 4000 hours and we did it in 3900 hours so that's good that's a good variance the standard price is two dollars so it's in two different places, standard price, standard price. And we're going to take the 4000 times the $2, and that's 8000 So we can figure out how well we did. All right, let's calculate the price variance. The price variance, let's take the 7800 minus the 8580 If you'll take the right number minus the left number, it gives you the correct some uh, direction so we we should have spent two dollars and we spent 220 okay we thought we'd spend two dollars we spent 220 per foot so we spent 780 dollars too much so one thing we can do on this is we probably need to not show it as a negative number so we'll just set up an absolute function and so therefore that number will come out to be positive it'll be the absolute amount of the difference. Now, we know this is favorable or unfavorable. We know this is going to be unfavorable because you spent too much. You spent too much. You spent the you thought you'd spend two dollars each, you spent two twenty. So that's unfavorable. Now we can do the same thing here. In fact I'm going to copy this over. So this is going to be eight thousand minus seventy eight hundred that number would be positive. And so let's look at what we have. We thought this is going to be $2 and $2. So that's not the difference. The difference is the standard quantity and the actual quantity. The quantity variance is going to be 200 and it's going to be favorable because we spent less feet than we thought. We had planned on using 4,000 feet of lumber and we only used 3,900. So that's good. That saves us money. So that's favorable. Now the total direct material variance is going to be the combination of these two numbers. So it's going to be the 780 and the 720. This is an absolute, uh, this is their absolute value, but it's going to be, um, we're going to make this like a negative number and this is like a positive number. So it's really 8,000 minus 8,500. So 580, and we want to show this as a absolute value. Now, is this favorable or unfavorable? Well, the unfavorable is 780. The favorable is 200. So this will be unfavorable as well. All right, the second problem, very similar, except this is direct labor. Now, technically, it's still price and quantity. But we use the word, instead of price, we use the word rate, direct labor rate variance. Instead of using the word quantity, we use the direct labor efficiency variance. 
If you want to remember these as price and quantity, that's still fine. Now, for one unit of direct labor, it takes three hours to make, and it takes us $12 per hour. So to make one, it would take three times 12 or 36. And our actual production is, is 2,000. So let's see what we know here in this case. Our actual quantity is 6,200 hours, and our total cost of labor is 76,880. We can back in to find what our price is, 76,000 divided by the 6,200. That means we spent 1,240. We thought we would spend 12, right? So there's going to be a, a variance here for the price. So we know this is 12, and we know this is 12 for the standard price, the standard price. What is the actual quantity? It's given it's still the 6,200. Remember, we already know that. Well, what is our total here? 6,200 times $12. That's 74,400. What is our standard quantity? Well, it takes three hours to make one, and our budget needs to account for 2,000, so it's going to be three times 2,000. So it's going to be 6,000. So 6,000 times the $12 is 72,000. All right, I'm going to copy here, just so the math will be a little bit quicker. I'm going to copy my rate variance, and it's going to be the difference between 74,400 minus 76,880. That's going to be 2,480. Now, is that going to be favorable or unfavorable? We thought we'd spend 12. We spent 1240, so therefore that's unfavorable. We do the same thing. There we go. The difference is 2,400. Is that 2,400 favorable or unfavorable? Well. We thought we would use 6,000, we use 6,200, so that's going to be unfavorable. The total variance is going to be the 72,000 minus the 76,880. It's negative 4,880, so we know that's going to be an unfavorable variance. We're going to wrap it in absolute, so we don't want to show the negative number. So it's 4880 because this is unfavorable and unfavorable. We just add the same signs together. So that's 4880 unfavorable. We spent more per hour, uh, per hour yes, the 12 and the, the 1240, and we, we spent more units than what we thought. All right, let's look at number three. Number three, <clears throat> we're going to switch over to the variable MOH variances and the fixed MOH variances. So this is just the same as before. Variable MOH, we would call this rate variance and we'd call this efficiency variance. But remember, it is price and quantity. Now, for we'll get to fixed MOH, show how that works here in a little bit. But let's start with the very first one. You got some more information for problem three. So problem three, it says we have a budget. The capacity is 40,000 units. We have machine hours. Uh, we, it takes two machine hours to make each product. So that's our budget. So this is budget or standard. The variable MOH is $3 per machine hour, right? Fixed MOH is $360,000 total. Well, our actual, we produced 42,000 units. We used machine hours of 85,000. Our total MOH is 625,000. This is actual. And the fixed portion of that is 375,000. So what do we know? We know the variable portion is 250,000. So that's actual. Even though it wasn't given, we just uh, subtracted. We took the 625 minus the 375. All right. Over here, it talks about how many, how many hours do we need? 
Well, if it takes two hours to make each item, 40,000 times two, we need 80,000 hours. This is built on 80,000 hours. And to produce one, what does it take? It takes two machine hours, $3 per machine hour for a total of six. So let's plug in variable MOH here. What is our actual quantity? Our actual quantity is given. Now, this is going to be hours times the price per hour. So our actual quantity is going to be this number right here of 85,000. Actual quantity, 85,000. And standard quantity should be something very similar to it. Remember, we calculated this 80,000. All right, so our, we have actual quantity, actual quantity, standard quantity. We need to know the actual price. Are we given the actual price? No, but we're given our total, we can back in to find it, our total variable MOH is 250,000. Nice round number. So what is our actual price? 250 divided by 85,000, and we got $2.94. $2.94. Well. What is our standard price? We need to find standard price for variable MOH. Well, it's the $3. We're going to put $3 here and $3 here. So we're going to multiply the 85,000 times the $3. That's 255,000. We're going to take the 80,000 times the $3. That's going to be 240,000 looks like. So we're just going to subtract just like normal. So I'm going to copy from way up here. I'm going to copy because the formula still will work. This saves us a little time. So I'm taking the 255 minus the 250, and that's going to be unfavorable. No, I'm sorry. That's going to be favorable because... We thought we'd spend three, we spent 294, so that's good. That's a favorable variance. We do the same thing here. The difference between, this is, the difference between 240 and the difference in 255 is 15,000. So we thought we would do it in 80,000 hours. We did it in 85, so that is unfavorable. We can, Add these two numbers together, we'll have a negative 15 basically and a positive 5 if you think of it that way. So it's going to be 10,000. Or the difference between the 240 minus the 250, that's going to be a negative 10. We don't want to show it as negative, so we're going to wrap it in an absolute, an absolute function just so it doesn't show the negative. So that's 10,000, and we know that 10,000 is going to be unfavorable because the unfavorable is larger. All right, well, now let's show how to do the fixed MOH. This is what we just did is just like what we did before. So the fixed MOH, we already know the actual quantity is 85,000. We already know the actual quantity is 85,000. We're given the actual quantity of fixed MOH is 375,000. So I'm going to drop that in here, 375,000. Now, do we know the budgeted amount? We have budgeted quantity and standard quantity. Well, we originally built the budget on 80,000 hours. We originally built this budget on 80,000 hours, this number way up here. But what would the standard be if we produced 42,000? If we took it would be two, it takes two hours, so two times 42,000 is going to be 84,000. We need, our standard would be 84,000. We would need two hours for each item. So the standard price is going to be this $3 up here, the standard price for uh, variable, I'm sorry, not the three dollars, but the four fifty. So here, let's calculate, and we we can figure out what the numbers would be close to three seventy five divided by the 
85,000. So it's $4 and 41 cents. Originally, we built the fixed MOH, 360,000, um, based on 80,000 hours. Now, do we know, do we know our fixed MOH? We do. We know it is 360,000. So we don't have the, sorry, 360,000. So we don't have the standard price, but we can back in to find that standard price. That standard price is 360,000 based on 80,000 hours. And so that's $4.50. So we know this is $4.50. And we can multiply 84,000 times the $4.50. And we end up with 378,000. So we're going to do our, our math calculations again. We're going to take the 360 minus the 375. And we'll end up with a negative 15,000. We want to make that absolute value. Getting rid of that negative sign, so that's 15,000. Now, here's the question. Is this going to be favorable or unfavorable? We thought, now, now watch, both of these are different. It's standard price, actual price. Um, budgeted quantity and actual quantity. So here we have a budget variance of 15,000. That's going to be because we planned on spending 360 and we spent 375. This is going to be an unfavorable variance. You just have to look at the totals. That's going to be an unfavorable variance. We're going to do the same thing over here. The difference between the 378 and the 360. Now, I've got some rules over here. If we produce more than capacity, if we produce more than capacity, then we're going to say this is favorable. We thought our capacity was 80,000 budgeted hours. We ended up using more capacity. The standard is more. If we produce more, we thought we could produce uh, less than that uh, 40,000. We produced 42,000, right? We thought our capacity was 40 and we produced 42. So that's good. We're, we're using our, our uh, we've increased our capacity more than what we thought. So that's going to be favorable. So the answer here is going to be favorable, 18,000, fixed MOH, volume variance. We're going to do the same 378 minus the 375. We're going to end up with 3,000. Now, is this going to be favorable or unfavorable? will make it favorable because this number is favorable and larger than that number, which is unfavorable. All right, let's look at problem four. <clears throat> problem four has some different information. We have actual MOH, that's total MOH is 40,000. Actual variable MOH is 24,150. We have the fixed MOH budget so this is the budget number, is 18,000. Our actual direct labor hours is 4,200. Our standard quantity of direct labor hours is 4,000. We think our capacity is 4,500. And our standard variable rate is $5 per hour. So let's break it up into variable and the fixed and see what we can do. Well, on variable MOH, do we know our actual quantity? Yes, we do. The actual quantity is 4,200. Our actual price, we don't know, but we know our actual variable MOH is 24,150. So we can take 24,150 divided by the 4,200, we get 575. So our standard price is going to be something very similar to 575. Now, do we have actual quantity of, of hours? Yes, we do. I'm sorry. Uh, yes, actual quantity still, we still know 4,200. It's this number right here, 4,200. Do we know the standard quantity of hours? Yes, we do, 4,000. Now, do we know the standard price? The standard price for variable MOH 
is this number right here, the $5. So it's going to be 4,200 times 5, and it's going to be 4,000 times 5. We can multiply this out. 4,200 times 5. We can do the same thing. 4,000 times 5 is going to be 20,000. Our price variance is going to be 21,000 minus the 24,150, and that is 3,150. So we know that's going to be an unfavorable variance. I'll make it absolute. So the price variance, we thought we'd spend five and we spent 575. That's negative, an unfavorable variance. We're going to do the same thing with our quantity variance or efficiency variance. Remember, we could call this the efficiency variance. This, we thought we'd do it in 4,000. We did it in 4,200. So that quantity would be unfavorable. So the difference here is going to be the 20,000 minus the 24,150. We know th these two numbers are just added up. This is going to be a negative number. We're going to make it absolute here. And if you build this a certain way, then you can use it as a template for the future ones. So you have 4,150 as unfavorable as our total variance. Remember, we can call this price, or more commonly, it's called the rate variance, and the quantity variance is called the efficiency variance. We're talking about variable MOH, we're talking about uh, direct labor. All right, the last part here, our final parts of this, this spreadsheet, is going to be the fixed MOH. Now, we already know the fixed MOH is actual quantity is 4,200. 4,200. We know our standard quantity is going to be 4,000. Now, what's our budgeted quantity? Do we have budgeted quantity? We do, and that's going to be our capacity. So if you have capacity, that's your budgeted number. So this is 4,500. That's your budgeted capacity number. Now, do we know, what else do we know? Uh, fixed MOH, are we given fixed MOH? We know the fixed budget is 18,000, so that goes here. And we can back in to find the standard price, 18,000 divided by 4,500. That's $4, so this over here is going to be $4. We can take the 4,000 units times the $4. We're going to end up with 16,000. Now, we still need either the actual price or the actual fixed MOH. So it says, let's look at this. Actual MOH is 40,000. The actual variable MOH is 24,150. So the actual fixed MOH must be the total minus the variable portion gives us the fixed portion. So 15,850. So that's 15,850. We end up with, we can figure out the 15,850 divided by the 4,200. Our actual price must have been 377. So we subtract out the 18,000 minus the 15,850. We get 2150. Is that going to be favorable or unfavorable? Well, we thought we'd spent 18. We spent 15,850. So that's good. You spend less than what you thought. That's a good thing. We do the same thing for volume variance. It's going to be the difference in 2000. We thought we would use um, capacity. It's 4,500. We, we use standard of 4,000. So we produce less than capacity. So we're going to say this is unfavorable. So the difference is going to be the 16 minus the 15,850. It's going to be 150, and that's going to be favorable because 
this is 2000 unfavorable this is 2150 favorable the difference overall the total variance is only 150 favorable all right that's how you do standard cost and variances flexible budget all right thanks for watching